Here's another one, pass or fail and key points. You are all in the heart of reading sections that deal with that yellow stuff that you see on screen right now. Your colleagues, <laughs> there's lots of thumbs down, I love that. It really looks good on screen. Your colleagues taking exams, they've already been through all this. They're like finally getting approved and taking exams and go, wow, you know, tier two, when we're into really reading about CSST on those two full pages, you better tell them to make sure they keep reading them because there's a lot of questions because of these disasters you see in front of you right now. That PVC pipe with the gym cap, especially since it's winter time. I don't know if you can really see it. Actually, you can see it on the big one right there. A little bit of silicone right in there on the gym cap. None of that's right. Can't do that with CSST. Can't be exposed like that. Two places this problem occurs, especially now since it's the winter time. If that pipe fills with water, which it did, the power of ice is unbelievable. If water gets in a pipe, and the water is not allowed to seep out of the pipe because you really don't want to run a pipe through a conduit and have stuff get in it. It's the whole idea. But when water gets in it and it's only like a foot, 18 inches, even two feet below grade, and the frost goes into the ground like up to four feet around here, and that pipe is full of water around the CSST or it could be propane, in this case for natural gas, but it could have been propane where they ran copper tubing through a conduit and it wasn't properly sealed on both ends. Water got in over time because, oh yeah, it worked for like six months or a year and then the seal broke because it's not the proper seal. Water's around it, the water freezes, it literally crushes the pipe flat, whether it's corrugated stainless steel tubing or in propane copper tubing. Will crush the tubing flat and does. That's a disaster right there. Split, no tape. Under the jacket, literally going around, making a trail all the way down to wherever that finally turned. Remember, rain is acidic. It's coming across the country, picking up all kinds of stuff. 304 stainless steel isn't incorruptible. It can get corrupted in with water in it and acid rain still, there's still acid rain. So enough that over time it rots it. So these are cases where... Can't do that with CSST. Can't be exposed like that. Just can't be. Somehow this dude got licensed and that's scary. Maybe that was the only question he got wrong in this case. It wasn't a she, it was a he. So many adjectives you could use to describe how dynamically dumb that is. And it screams you don't know what you're doing. So that's that was another fail. Love to see the thumbs down. 